There comes a time in every aspiring YouTuber's life where you have to sit down in front of a mirror and ask yourself the hard questions. What am I bringing to the table? What unique qualities do I have that others do not? What do I want my brand to represent as I put my content out for the whole world to see? And if you ask yourself that question and realize that you're an unadulterated piece of shit with no aptitude for anything of value and zero redeeming qualities, well then I have good news for you, my friend, because there is a massive market for that on YouTube. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. My name is Leon Lush and I'm so happy to have you here to celebrate with me the one millionth episode of how the hell does this titanic piece of shit have so many subscribers? That's not actually what it's called. I, so today we're going to be talking about a guy named It's Aria. He's a YouTuber with 666,000 subscribers at the time of me recording this. Probably not a coincidence. Who was recently in the news because one of his pranks gone wrong uh, recently got a lot of backlash. And uh, fucking here we are. Now if you're unaware of who It's Aria is, um, good. Uh, but I'm here to ruin your blissful ignorance, and for that I apologize. Uh, this guy is a prank channel, quote unquote. if you'll allow. I mean, it, let's be honest, prank on YouTube is becoming synonymous with being a piece of shit in public for views at this point. There's not a single prank channel that doesn't make me want to stick a fucking broadsword through my throat and watch myself bleed out all over the fucking floor, you mother- but Let me bring you up to speed by just reading through a couple of his smash hits so you know what we're dealing with here. Stealing people's hats. Smacking people's drinks in Dubai. Smacking people's drinks part two. Smacking people's drinks part three. Eating people's food. Pantsing people. And it goes on. And it goes on. You want a little taste? Okay, here's a little taste. What's going on guys today, yeah? I'm gonna be eating people's food, yeah? If you guys wanna see a part two, let's try to smash 100,000 likes and I'll do that for you guys, no problem. Ah, uh, you know what, Arya? That was a tempting pitch, but I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pass. Oh, serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah. I thought it was you, that's why, right, man. Oh, is that the, what the fuck are you doing? Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? It's Middlesex University, it's right here, man. Yeah, yeah, do that yeah, remember? Yeah. Well, you remember? Know, you gonna give that back for? Oh shit, sorry man. Oh shit, I just caught a bit thirsty in that. Yeah. Oh, oh, so now I'm right, right. Yeah, man, I'm so thirsty. Now you're taking my fucking Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. What the fuck are you doing? Mm. Oh, bro, what? Mm. Savage. 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 I'm listening. I'm so sorry, bro. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dickhead. Savage. So you get the gist of it, right? He just walks up to people and steals their food and either eats it or throws it on the ground, smacks it, and then runs away. <laughs> oh, man. Pranks are just hilarious. <laughs> Before I get into the video, there's a program called Edu Birdie that does your essays for you. There's no plagiarism, so you'll never get caught. If you need your assignment done for college or uni, you go to edubirdie.com. Check it out. They'll do your essays for you. Looks like he's sponsored by a website that writes essays for people in exchange for money. And I mean, this is great news for all the kids watching. That means you can just continue to play 15, 16 hours of Fortnite a day, fuck off all your schoolwork, and just pay Edgy Birdie to write your fucking term papers for you. Sweet! By the way, good luck in college when you're completely unequipped to deal with any actual work because you've been paying a website to write all your papers your entire high school career. Anyways, that's besides the point. I just thought it was very fitting that this piece of shit human was sponsored by this piece of shit website. Let's take a quick look at Smacking People's Drinks Part 2. Mm. Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> a laughing until I'm crying emoji. This is so funny. He's so brave. How does he do it? 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 Massive piece of shit. 20,000 likes for part three. I hope it made it. It, di it did make it. 138,000 likes and five and a... Five and a half million views on this video. Five... Five and a half million 
<laughs> hey Nigel, what's up, man? Can I can I ask you? Do you might do you... run. One hundred thousand likes, and I'll make a part two. Now, the reason this kid got so much backlash in the first place is because of a prank called throwing water in people's faces. It was like a two or three part series he had on his channel where he would just go around London, the United Kingdom, and just throw people in water's faces. <laughs> throw people in water's faces. Classic dyslexia. Now, the reason this became such a problem is because in the UK, for those of you who may not know or don't live there, there has been an epidemic of what's called these acid attacks which is fucking crazy, the fact that these even exist, that this is a thing that humans do, but apparently people take corrosive substances, acids of some sort, and they go up and they'll attack people and throw it in people's faces and it fucks them up. Now, he didn't specifically label these pranks as acid attacks, but it's easy to understand why it might be perceived that way. So since this morning when I initially watched some of his videos to the time of my recording, now he's deleted all of these acid prank or throwing water in people's faces prank videos. So I'm not gonna show any clips of that, but you get the gist of what it's like. It's the same format. He just runs around the city and throws water in people's faces. Listen, I don't give a shit what you do in your videos. You can smother your tits up with peanut butter and fluff and jump headfirst into a rose bush, but can we please stop blatantly disrespecting people as a form of content? Can we have a little shred of motherfucking decency? Probably not, because clearly because of all of the likes and views this gets, it's obvious that there's a mad, 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 it's obvious that there's a massive market for this kind of content. I don't personally like it, and I wish there would be less of it, but fucking, it's, it's a, probably a losing battle. So the punchline is this. Don't be like this YouTuber. All right, let's take a look at a couple comments and let's get the fuck out of here. I swear if you do this kind of shit in Somalia, you will set your funeral date. You know what, Ibrahim Ahmed has a decent point here, but not just Somalia, I feel like even in the UK, wherever he's doing this, how has he not had his jaw broken at least three times? I would have heel stomped him in the fucking sternum if he stole my drink or ate my french fries. Fuck off. What an asshole, though. Stop doing this! Seriously, stop. Nicky Hamilton summed it up nicely when he said, he's so stupid, but entertaining too. And that's really the running theme of a lot of online content these days. Stupidity oftentimes equals views. And there's nothing inherently wrong with being stupid to entertain, but there's a fine line between stupidity and being a complete piece of shit. And I think in this case, we're tipping the scales towards piece of shit. So let's try and do a little bit less of that kind of content and find other ways to entertain people and enjoy content online or not because humanity is fucked. <laughs> Anyways, I've had about enough of this. So do me a favor when you get to school in the morning, go down to your principal's office, uh, put a glass of water in his hand and then smack that shit out of his hand, punch him in the dick and sprint out of that office and then hip thrust that motherfucking like button while the run song by AWOL Nation is playing in the background. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in a new video. Um, don't be dicks. Peace. Dicks. You. You.